Good morning students. Today we are going to see our third poem Rain on the Roof written by Coates Kinney. The poem Rain on the Roof brings out the nostalgic sentiments of the poet Coates Kinney. When the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining, have you ever listened to the patter of soft rain on the roof? What thoughts flashed through your mind as you heard this melody of nature? Read the poem to find out what the poet dreamed of while listening to the rain. We are going to see the first stanza. When the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently whips in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead here in the first stanza the poet's mood is melancholy melancholy is sad and sorrowful sister talks about being snug and warm in bed with his face pressed into a soft pillow when it is raining outside and atmosphere has become quite cold. Here humid shadows, it's a cloud full of moisture along with the heat in the atmosphere. Pattern is soft continuous noise. See the second stanza. Every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their air trades into woof as I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof. Here, as the rain continues, the poet is listening to the musical rhythm and then he is reminded of his childhood. Every tinkle that the raindrops makes find an echo in his heart. That is, the memories of rain enjoyed during childhood that came flooding into his mind. And he is thinking of his childhood. Here, shingles means the rectangular wooden tiles used on roof. Fancies means it is a imaginations. And air threads means imaginary threads. So here the poet is remembering the days of his childhood, the days of the childhood when there was rain and then he remember lots of things of his childhood along with the memory of his mother. See the third stanza. Now in memory comes my mother as she used in years ago to regard the darling dreamers. Here she left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel her fond look on me as I list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain. Here the poet having the memory of his mother, he remembers her soft and loving touch and looks upon him. He remembers how his mother used to come softly into the room to check on her sleeping children. Here the darling dreamers are the sleeping children. Fawn Lung means loving gaze. So here mother is seeing the sleeping children. Echo in the heart that is makes him remember something. So here the poet is remembering the days of his childhood. Here means before. List is listen and refrain is something played again and again. So here he says that how his mother used to come softly into the room to check on her sleeping children and the poet was one of them and now she used to go slowly from the room after giving a loving look to all of them. He 
he says that he can still feel her looking at him with that loving expression on her face thus the patter of the rain takes the poet down memory lane and leaves him feeling sad and missing all his loved ones who have left him over the years now let us see the literary devices used in this particular poem the first stanza the first line when the humid sh shadows hover the humid shadows hover that is the figures of speech it is metaphor because clouds are compared indirectly to shadows even the alliteration because the sound of h is repeated twice even we can say the metonymy as the humid shadows is representing clouds over all the starry spheres here the speaker figures of speech is alliteration because the sound of s is repeated twice and the melancholy darkness here it is personification darkness has been given the human quality of being melancholy that means sad even transferred epithet because the adjective melancholy is transferred from the poet that is uh, the person and it is transferred to the darkness and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears again personification because your darkness has been given the human quality of weeping gently metaphor as the rain drops are indirectly compared to tears what a bliss to press the pillow it is alliteration the sound of p is repeated lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead alliteration sound of l repeat repeated onomatopoeia as the word patter represents the continuous sound of the falling rain every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart it is hyperbole because the poet uses exaggeration in the phrase every tinkle even synecdoche because part that is heart represents the whole that is poet and a thousand dreamy fancies you are again hyperbole as the poet uses exaggeration in the phrase thousand dreamy fancies transferred epithet because the epithet dreamy has been transferred from the poet to the fancies and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof again hyperbole the poet uses exaggeration in the phrase thousand recollections personification because recollections are given the human quality of being able to weave metaphor as thoughts are indirectly compared to the threads air threads now in memory comes my mother alliteration am sound is repeated five times that is memory comes and my and mother to regard the darling dreamers the figures of speech here is alliteration the sound of d is repeated twice then metonymy because darling dreamers represents the poet and his siblings the next is oh i feel her fawn look on me the figures of speech in the bow line is alliteration the sound of f is repeated twice as i list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles the figures of speech here is personification because rain is given the human quality of playing the refrain so this is the figures of speech of the poem i hope you have understood the poem properly thank you